Well, hello, everybody. Um, my guest today, uh, with a rather fascinating topic, but let's get to my guest today is Diane Vanderweide. Di Diane is one of the directors of the um, Gary Craig Official EFT Training Center in the French language. And it's brand new. Which language now? Italian, Gary. Italian. All right, great. Um, very experienced in all of this. And she has noticed, as have I over time, this topic which we can generally call self-sabotage, but it's also linked with people who come to come to us for help who have a number of, let me call them beliefs. Uh, they've been told things, they've bought things you know, from childhood on, and, and they're really in the way. Um, and we want to address what some of those things are, where they come from, and give examples and how to take care of them. Give give me some some sense, uh, uh, Diane, of how often this happens in, in sessions that you see. Yeah, uh, I think it's a, a a topic that can be very helpful for many people because it's more frequent than one would expect, and so I see this with a with a, some frequency. People come. They they come with either they come and and within the first session they will tell you I've tried several things to solve my issue, but uh, you know it ends up I do self sabotage so that's really what they say. Other times they they have um, this recurring issue, uh, very often physical. Something like anxiety, generalized anxiety, or they, they, when they wake up in the morning, they feel depression, um, things like this. And again, they, they don't know what it is. They tried many things very often because, you know, people come to EFT. It used to be EFT tapping. It's uh, optimal EFT after having tried several things. So they, they first go to the more mainstream. Uh, techniques, therapies, uh, and then they, they sometimes end up in this, for them, sometimes funny therapy, or they hear about it, or they, they've been told something. And we find very often that it's, it's a matter of, um, of uh, yeah, belief, but something very early, and they've lost track of it. They don't know, they don't, they don't remember what it was, what happened, and so on. So uh, the message that I think we would like to convey here uh, is that it's there, the EFT, optimal EFT can be very effective for that. And um, the self-sabotage bit, I, I often see no no reality in that. I, I, if you just yeah. need to, to take it a little further down the issue and you find that there are good reasons for that. Yeah. You know? I found myself, just to give examples of what you're talking about, people will come and they will, they will have been told something clear back into childhood by their parents or you know, friends or teachers or religious leaders or something, told something about themselves. Oh, well, you're, you're worthless or, or there's something wrong with you or, 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 or I had I, I got just the other day. The main issue was she was told she had to always be perfect. Everything had to be just so. Okay. And of course, we all know what, you know, you can, we can, nobody's just perfect. And so, so what we have to do when we have these, these beliefs that come in, let me back up a second, more beliefs. People will come because they will be told by their bartender, by their hairdresser, by another by some therapist somehow, that they had a past life or they have something missing from their energy system or they've, they've got all these things going on and they hear it from what they think is an authority, parents, bartenders, therapists, doctors, whatever, and they buy it. They may even misinterpret it, but they buy it and it's a block. It's a, as long as that belief is in place, they're not going to go anywhere. So one of the not only is it a blog, but it adds up to the issue. It definitely adds up because it's they they take it so for such a piece of truth that 
it becomes a new issue. It's just another new issue to to deal with, and it's yeah. it's like a, they're condemned in some way. Yeah, I, I I can never, I will have to live all my life with this issue. I can never solve this. I can never. Um, there's no issue for me that I have to. <laughs> I'll have to suffer with this yeah, all my life, okay. which is. Well. Yeah, and the, the the part about that, as long as they believe it, so be it. It will be in their way, clearly. So that's one of the real skills that we, we uh, teach within our, in our optimal EFT and the unseen therapist is how to reframe this, how to look at this differently. Where did that belief come from? What's the real, what's the real authority for that? You know, who else believes that? There's, there's lots of ways to to dilute, to yes. reframe yes. this. And that's that's a real skill. And sometimes, often, in fact, I find oftentimes, the more you get into this, unseen therapist herself will give you the reframe for it. I've seen that many. You've seen it, I, I would think, in, oh, in yes. your sessions. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. But the, the what I find uh, often useful is to to help the person reconnect with their own feelings and and truth you know someone told you that but what do you think about it how how, how do you feel about that and i think this is something anybody can do at home not even there's no need for a session for this you know the first thing is just okay i've been told this does it really feel true for me because there, very often we we just think, that, you know, my elder sister or uh, my teacher or, like you said, the bartender uh, maybe is an authority or this person is an authority or they know because they've been through this or they, you know, whatever they've been told these people. So the first thing is it is it really true? is to ask oneself is that really true for me? How does it feel? And to 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 own it back instead yeah. of just yeah. Well, the second thing is to be diligent. I think we want to be diligent with this. People we need sometimes to really take time to go deeper than just the the apparent yeah. issue. Well, the, the just the question: How does this feel? Does it really feel true to you? This that is a reframing question all by itself because they have to relook at it now. Well, it doesn't really feel right. Uh, but, you know, my friend or whatever, or my therapist or a doctor or somebody said this, and therefore they've got this belief, you know. This this lady that I was dealing with, with the uh, I've got to be perfect issue, well, we need to reframe that. She even knows academically, nobody, who knows even what perfect is, okay? But as it turns out, her father seemed to know what perfect was because he kept pounding into her. You've got to do better. You do, you do better. And it didn't matter what she did. It didn't matter how high she climbed into some achievement thing. There's always a better level. You know, always, always, always. And she ended up having, you know, some really big problems about that. We spent, we spent a fair amount of time talking about and having an unseen therapist on this whole idea, this belief that she bought about having to be perfect. We, we looked at, you know, well, is your father perfect? Why would your father want you to be perfect? Well, she, we talked about, well, you know, his children needed to be a badge for him because he didn't feel perfect. Okay. And he, he thought that was a way to raise children tough. You've got to be perfect to get through this world. Well, okay, fine, fine. But once we look at the reasons why, where the authority comes from, and sometimes it's just a, you know, a, the, the bartender, for example, just throws out an idea. <laughs> okay. Yes. That's a way of reframing that. So the person now is, oh, oh, I guess I don't really need to be perfect. Now, it's one thing to have this discussion and discuss it in your head. I guess I don't need to be perfect. Okay. That's one thing. It's another thing to own it, own it, to actually shift the belief. That's where it's really important. So we don't just discuss it. Okay. We, 
And that's where unseen therapists and the proper application of all this can shift one from the academic, oh yeah, it's a good idea to I own it. Yeah. That's my father's issue. That's not mine. <laughs> no, <laughs> I wouldn't wish that on anybody kind of thing. Okay. I'm sorry. Yes. I'm talking a lot. Do you have anything? No, more it's, it's, it's just perfect because I wouldn't say better. Of course I wouldn't say better. This is exactly where optimal EFT uh, can, can help so much because um, it, it takes a different, uh, it takes the issue on a different, from a different angle and it's not, um, it's not, the issue doesn't really count is, is what, what is behind that and what, what can we do with that and what can one learn from that? And this uh, idea of having something wrong with oneself or doing self-sabotage is very limiting. And, and I, what I would like to interject here is that we're not talking about people who have secondary gain. This is something very different. It really is a belief that I, you know, I, I'll, I'll have to live with this issue all my life. Yeah. And, and no, 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 not necessarily. It's just a matter of, of seeing it in a different way and, and, and um, making sense of, of how quickly we can um, catch a negative belief. <laughs> we can just catch it. And to get rid of that sometimes takes a lot of time because it's, Maybe sometimes it's convenient, or maybe because one is tired, doesn't know what to do anymore, or has lost hope. And so we're back into why we're having this discussion. If we can give back some hope and, and encourage, and if this little video we're doing can encourage people to, to do optimal UFT and just even just read your book, put it, apply it, and start by themselves, even if they think their issue is. is there for the rest of their life. Yeah. Well, many do. Many do. In fact, they'll even bring these things up as though, well, just as a, an aside, I'll mention this, like you can't do anything with it, but it's part of the, well, of course we can. We just look beyond it. Okay. <laughs> Easier said than done, of course, but the reframe and so on and so forth, but so many yes, things but, come up. Go yes. Ahead. And in the process, in the process, the, the, the person we, the person will um, reconnect at a different level to themselves. You know that's very important. They will start seeing themselves with more compassion. They will start listening to themselves and get their confidence back and their trust. And they will, in the process, of course, start working with the unseen therapist and trust. So I think there's a lot, a lot uh, to gain from a situation where the where someone sometimes feels very lost you know yes. and and very with no issue so um there i think i've said basically all i wanted to say okay um, all right well i hope our listeners in you know got a few clues out of that that's the purpose of all this so all right everybody we're going to sign off and we'll see you next time